Okay, so this is the crystal thing that I did the other day. Um, first piece that I worked on in a while and kind of because there's nothing on the line. I have so many things I should be doing, but I've had such a hard time this week being motivated to do anything. So I worked on these, which was pretty fun, and I liked the way that it turned out, except for how the tips are. You can see they're kind of like pulled apart a little bit. I wasn't super keen on that, but I like the overall, I like the overall effect of it. And like, I want to play with this some more. So today's project is to solve this problem. And my initial thought was that I could have little tabs in here instead of trimming them so that I could glue them. But that presents its own problem because what kind of glue and how would I do it? Um, a crazy glue would be the best, but I have no access to crazy glue. Um, I guess I could order some online, but I don't have any right now. And this is something I want to work on right now. But my husband suggested this stuff, um, which is like this like activator stuff. And because you spray it and that's the activator and then you put the glue on and then it sticks really quickly. But I was like, these are tiny little things, how I can't spray the whole thing with the activator. Um, but he was like, what if you made a template so that you just like get it on that one little piece? And I was like, you're a genius, thank you. So I'm gonna try that. And I wanted them to be coming out a bit more. Like I wanted these crystals to be kind of like really dynamic and like shooting out of the frame. And so I got to play with some of my pattern drafting skills from my dressmaking days, which I have to say don't come into play all that often these days. But so yeah, I started playing with like these little shapes so that I could get these kind of like, I started in paper, so I have very little acetate left. And the store that sells it to me is closed right now. So I gotta make the, make the most of what I have. So I started in paper and started working with like these little shapes and stuff. And this is where I'm at so far. Um, I had to play with where the seams go and where these little tabs go to stitch them on. But so far, I think that this might be fun. So my next step would be to create a couple of actual patterns for these things, because these are just tests for some different shapes and sizes, and then trim them out in acetate and then paint them. So yeah, I can keep you abreast of that. <laughs> 